Hello there, how you doing everybody? Right, today a lovely sunny day, we're actually in Sutton on Sea, yeah, so it's 60 miles that way to Skegness, two and a half miles that way to Mablethorpe, yeah, so a little, little town it is, a uh, little seaside, little seaside town, uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to take you for a walk around here, I've already showed you around here when it was the 50s and the 40s weekend, uh, so I thought I'd bring you back uh, to show you what it's like without all the uh, stores and everything out here with the road open. I'll take you up the seafront as well, show you the little paddling pool, all the shops. I've got David with me again, so uh, we're going to go for a look, look round, so come and join us. So we've got a lovely little place. Uh, we've got young and old actually come here. We haven't got any like loads of amusement arcades or nightclubs or anything like that. There's, there's a little amusement arcade somewhere, but it's just a quiet little place uh, for you to come and relax. A lot of older couples come here for the day and uh, for a holiday and uh, even move here, live here. So, because uh, it's so quiet. So I'm just going to take you up towards uh, the sea. Uh, lovely day today. Red hot. A little bit windy. So I'd just like to uh, uh, say what I've got a chance is uh, all the new subscribers, absolutely brilliant. Also thank you for the people that also uh, have already subscribed, uh, watching, still watching all my videos, giving me the thumbs up, giving me as much thumbs up as you can, because uh, it helps me out, and ring the notification bells as well. So there's a the little paddling pool down there. And this is the sea, as you can see, loads of people on the beach. So yeah, God, quite a few people on the beach. I think this is where I should have been today. The sea is lovely and flat. Seems like the clouds are actually disappearing a little bit today. I say all the kids are off school now, so they're all down here enjoying the uh, the seaside. The sun, the sand and the sea. There's a few people in the sea doing a bit of paddling. I'll just show you this little map here. This is actually a cycle route, country coast and country trail. So you can see uh, Mabel Thorpe, just trust Thorpe, Sutton on Tea, see? Sandylands Hut Off Terrace. That's where I've uh, done a few more videos at Hut Off Terrace. So, this is a lovely seafront down here. Nice, clean, tidy place. No litter anywhere. Got the little beach huts as well. Look. So I don't know uh, if the private owners can actually hire them. And it's actually the first time I've ever been down this end, but it's absolutely beautiful down here. The uh, sand looks beautiful as well. Some nice little gardens uh, to sit in there as well. I think that's the toilets. There's like a little, uh, like a little fountain and waterfall. I'm just going to try and get over there, and show you. I don't know what was used to be in the middle there though. It looks actually like they're going to be doing this up a little bit. There's a photo of there. Looks like they're going to be doing something eventually. But that look, that'll look really good. 
so these look good, we've got some photos of here of the uh, the olden days, the sea, frosty days, and that there looks like the new uh, complex is going to be built on the seafront. Looks really good as well, what that's going to be like. Just check out the view. All the people on the beach. It's brilliant today. A few boats out there as well. I tell you, today it feels like it's been being in a foreign country, in a hot country, like Spain or somewhere. It's a shame the sea is not nice and blue, but it does look a good colour today. So it looks like I've just been uh, starting to do uh, this little bit up round here as well. It's a little, nice little fountain over there, a little waterfall coming down. Good little boat there. So I've got quite a few more beach huts down there. And then it starts with the sand dunes. So if uh, you haven't been here for a long, long time, uh, can you can you still remember it all as it is now? Can you remember when there was actually something where the wall is, where the fence is? If there is, put it in the comments below if you can remember what's actually behind that wall. What was it? Was it some uh, some kind of uh, beach huts or shops or something? Let us know in the comments below. So it's great to see they're actually East Lindsay actually putting signs out. Uh, do not, don't be rubbish. Leave nothing but footprints. Yeah. So there's no dogs allowed on the beach as well from the 1st to the 30th of September. But yeah, so uh, do as you're told. Don't leave your rubbish about. I right, shall so just turn around. We're going to go back the same way as we came and uh, we'll just go the other side of the uh, the bit where we've just come up onto the beach and then we'll take you into the town yeah it's flat in it don't you go and fall off All these lucky people today not working, they're actually on the beach. So it's nice to see all these bins about because there's a lot of places you go to, the rubbish all over the floor and stuff, but you never see the bins for anybody to put out in. So uh, well done to Sutton on Sea. We've got the lifeguard station there. Did we get anybody gets into difficulty? A uh, little, uh, little shop selling ice creams, drinks, windbreaks everything else as well nice little shop 
So if I walk around it. Oh, oh, David wants a slush. Yes, David, they do a slush. So David wants a slush, we're going in for a slush. So we've got ourselves a uh, slush, so uh, David's got a red one. And I've got a blue one. So this pub here is where we always come for a meal. Absolutely beautiful food in this. It's the uh, beach bar. And I think they have entertainment on as well uh, at night. But do really really good food in there and it's uh, not bad prices as well right so I've showed you the beach and all the seafront and all them beautiful little beach huts and all the people on the beach sunbathing and uh, paddling in the sea so what I'm going to do I'm going to have a quick walk through the little town they've got show you all the little shops So you've got a little car park at back there and you've also got this one over here as well which we're parked in and not too expensive nice little cafe there mm -hmm. i like this where they've all uh, someone's done a load of knitting lot put over the post Nice little cake there for you. So you can see how proud people are living in Sutton on Sea uh, to do little things like that. Keeping the place look really clean, tidy and uh, respectful. a little hardware shop if you need any tools or anything There's a few knickknacks in there as well so yeah I've got everything here painting decorating DIY a lot of nice stuff in here Gardening stuff, feeding the birds. We've got some nice photos up there as well. Look. So it uh, looks like this shop's been here for years. Can you say, even see a picture of the floods there? nice people in that shop yeah give him a card and hopefully he's gonna uh, like subscribe give us a thumbs up it looks like a uh, family-run business that's been going for years we've got the uh, beaches hotel do some decarvery here it looks a really nice place the, uh, when I was here on the uh, 40s and 50s weekend there's actually a singer stood outside here and Winston Churchill the Queen was actually here so if you haven't seen it yet look at my video from a week, few weeks ago where I did the uh, 40s and 50s weekend at Sutton on Sea
and this uh, this road was actually closed and there's stalls everywhere cars parked down here all vintage cars and stuff as well a nice little sweet shop down there as well I think I showed you in there last time I was here uh, I think it's closed at the moment if you want to have a look at that in my uh, last vlog so you got uh, a lot of the amenities here, we've got the uh, news agents, as hairdressers and Couplands, butchers, a few pubs. We've got a big spa shop as well, so if you need any uh, shopping while you're on holiday here or you've gone for the weekend. Quite a few takeaways down here, we've got the pizza house there. Little coffee shop. There was also when was here uh, the 40s and 50s weekend, there's actually a singer in on the forecourt there as well, that was quite good. So a little pet shop if you need anything for your pets while you're in. Then we've got the little antique shop at the end here. So when we was here uh, a few weeks ago, this was actually closed. So I'll ask him if we can have a walk around. Uh, let us see what we've got in here. I mean, this has been on TV before. Uh, showing you all inside it and what they sell and everything all right so this shop looks amazing it is cram packed full with loads of stuff oh my, <laughs> my father-in-law can't believe it hi you right <laughs> This is amazing, this shop is. <laughs> Do you know where everything is? <laughs> if somebody comes in and asks for something, then you, you might know where it is, yeah? So this shop's been here for years and years. What an amazing place. Crikey, we can go through into another room here. I like it, like Aladdin's cave. Can you believe it? I think I should bring the wife back here for her to have a look. She won't believe it. But yes, if you're sitting on sea, you're interested in anything like this. Even if you're not, get yourselves down here. Look at it. It's everywhere. They must do house clearances a lot. Yeah, you name it, they've got it. All the vintage stuff. They could actually get lost in here. <laughs> so all the, uh, the mugs there, look with the Queen, the commemorative mugs. What do you reckon, David? Thirty-eight years in here. Thirty-eight years they've been in the shop. Crikey. Do you recognise anything, David, from the the past? <laughs> yeah, me. Oh, right, so David's old enough to be in this shop as well. He's probably older than some of these things in here. Even some Beano magazines there, a lot. 
loads of beanos. Correct big pile of them. So how much was that beano? 20p. Uh, it's from December the 12th, 1987. Crikey, there's even an upstairs look as well. I could do an old video on this place. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. I'll put it on my YouTube channel, Neil R's Greatest Adventures. So, Close. Neil R's Greatest Adventures. <laughs> Thank you. There you go, there's uh, there's uh, Drew from the uh, Salvage Hunters. When he came here last. Thank you very much, sir. Good luck. <laughs> Give me an eight, where all that was. So I've just popped over the other side of the road. Uh, had a lovely conversation with the people in the, the antique shop. So uh, I think, I think uh, she said it was 35, 34 years I've been doing it. So crikey, the gear they've actually got in there is unbelievable. So if you're ever down in Sutton on Sea, you want to take a look in there. Prices are good as well, and it's a, there's a really nice couple that actually run that. So there you go then guys, hope you enjoyed that little walk around Sutton on Sea. Uh, what a lovely day it's been as well to show you all around there. So met a lot of nice people as well today, uh, a lot of new friends. So hopefully they'll, they will be watching the channel and uh, all subscribe to it as well. So if you're new to the channel, I'm Neil, Lars Greatest Adventures. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up and do a lot of sharing. So what do you think David, was he good? Yeah, it's been it wonderful. Good thumbs up, yeah. Right, so <coughs> thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next vlog. Been a lovely day.